What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm here at Stadium Goods on 47 Howard Street in New York City to check out the top 10 best selling sneakers under $500. Huge thank you to Stadium Goods for having me out. If you guys are looking for any sneakers at all, Stadium Goods is definitely the place to go. And all the sneakers mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those links out if you're interested. So as I mentioned, today's video is the top 10 best selling sneakers under $500 of 2019. The way we came up with this list is we found out the best selling sneakers at Stadium Stadium Goods this year and put the list together. The best part about today's video is that all the shoes mentioned are relatively affordable because they're all $500 and below. So without further ado, let's jump right into the top 10 best selling sneakers under $500. Number 10, the Yeezy 700 V2 Geode. The Yeezy 700 is actually one of my favorite sneaker silhouettes and one of my favorite Yeezys. I think the V2 is a really solid upgrade on the original V1 and the Geode colorway is definitely easy to rock because you have a lot of muted colors that pretty much go with anything. It's no surprise the sneaker is one of the top 10 best selling sneakers at Stadium Goods under $500 because it's an incredibly comfortable sneaker and it's got a gum outsole and gum outsoles are dope. The 700 V2 also features some really premium materials like suede on the toe and suede around the eyelids. You've also got some hits at 3M on the midfoot which a lot of people really dig. If you're looking for a super clean minimal look to give you that subtle flex, the Yeezy Boost 700 V2 Geode is definitely the way to go. Number 9, the Yeezy Boost 700 V1 Inertia. As you could probably tell, the dad shoe trend is back in full effect, and the V1 Inertia is one of the best dad shoes you can grab. The Inertia features a super clean monochromatic gray upper with some little hints of blue to really make this sneaker pop. My favorite part of the shoe though are the little hidden 3M accents on the midfoot and on the heel. I also dig the 700 silhouette because I love the midsole. I think the super organic sculpting and the chunky look is awesome. Just like with the 700 Geodes, the 700 Inertias feature really nice materials all throughout the shoe. And not only that, the 700 is also one of the comfiest silhouettes you can grab. The Inertia is another simple colorway that I think a lot of people will like because it's not too crazy and it's not too out there, but you still got that Yeezy flex. Number 8, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Sesame. The 350 V2 is by far the most popular Yeezy silhouette and is also one of the most popular silhouettes in general. The 350s have a super unique look and they also have that name Yeezy attached to them, which a lot of people love. In my opinion, the Sesame 350 V2s is one of the cleanest 350s that you can grab. The entire upper of the shoe is covered in prime knit, which is super stretchy and super comfortable and pretty much feels like you're putting a sock onto your foot. Not only that, but the 350 V2 also features a full length boost midsole, which means you get a lot of great impact protection and the ride is super soft. The Sesame 350 V2 is a super clean shade of tan that really fits in with that sort of Kanye earthy aesthetic. And if you guys watch my channel at all, you know me, I love gum outsoles and I love the fact that the Sesames have a really nice pair of semi translucent gum outsoles. I know that's not a big deal to some, but I think it's one of the best accents you could put on a shoe. If you're planning to grab a pair of 350 V2s, sizing is a little bit interesting because you usually have to to grab a half size up, however if you have narrow feet like myself, you could probably squeeze into your regular size. If you're looking for a simple 350, the Sesame colorway is a great way to go. Number 7, the Yeezy 500 Soul. For the longest time I just wasn't a fan of the 500 silhouette. Then I bought a pair and I tried it on and I realized the 500s are one of my favorite pairs of Yeezys. 500 has a super unique organic look that I think a lot of people are drawn to. The upper features premium suede, leathers and also this really interesting padded mesh. And out of all the 500 low colorways that have dropped, I think the Salt is probably probably one of the easiest pairs to rock. The colorway is sort of a mix between tan and gray and because of that it matches with a lot of different things. One of my personal favorite details on the shoe is the 3M piping that runs along the side of the upper. It's something you don't notice unless you hit this shoe with the flash and then it really pops. Unlike most other pairs of Yeezys, the 500 does not feature boost in the midsole and instead it features Adipreen foam. 500's midsole was actually borrowed from a retro pair of Adidas basketball sneakers and it's still incredibly comfortable underfoot. Not to mention the upper feels like clouds on your feet, it's insane. If you dig the look of the 500 Salt, it's one of the most comfortable and versatile sneakers you can grab. Number 6, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Static. The Static 350s were the first pair of 350s to feature a translucent stripe running down the side of the shoe. And the cool thing about this detail is that you can actually change the look of the sneaker by just changing the look of your socks. You can actually make this a red stripe by just wearing red socks. I think it's a really cool accent. A funny story, I actually grabbed my personal pair from Stadium Goods a year ago. The upper of the shoe features a really interesting white and gray prime knit pattern that definitely definitely resembles static, so it makes sense why they gave it that name. Just like the other 350 V2s on the list, the entire upper is made up of prime knit, so because of that, this shoe is very comfortable. 
Another cool detail about most 350 V2s, or at least the static colorway, you've actually got 3M details hidden in the laces. My favorite thing about the statics is how versatile of a shoe it is. Not only can you change the look of the stripe by changing your socks, but it's also a shoe that from a distance just kind of looks like a gray sneaker. But when you get up close, you see all the little intricate details on the pattern. If you'd like to grab a pair of statics from Stadium Goods like I did, make sure to check out that link in the description below. Number five, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Clay. The Clay 350 V2s are one of the most popular 350s of the entire year. It's crazy how much people really love this sneaker. The shoe features a really interesting brown and orange upper, and also one of my favorite details is bright neon hit on the heel tag. Just like the Statics, the 350 V2 Clays also have that translucent stripe running along the side of the sneaker, so you can either wear a pair of brown socks to match the rest of the shoe, or maybe throw on some neon greens to switch things up. Another detail that I really like is a semi-translucent midsole that actually fades from a dark orange to sort of a lighter yellow. Overall, the 350 V2 two clays are a super unique look. Number four, the Yeezy Boost 700 Wave Runner. I personally think that the 700 Wave Runners are my favorite Yeezys. I don't know what it is about them. I think it's the crazy colorway and just the super comfortable fit, but I love these sneakers. In fact, I'm actually wearing a pair right now, so show you guys how much I love them. Like the other 700s on the list, the shoe features premium materials on the upper, but unlike the other 700s, this shoe pops because you've got like six different colors on this sneaker. On the toe alone, you've got grays, blacks, blues, greens, and even neon greens. Then moving down to the midsole of the sneaker, you've got this really interesting ink blot on the forefoot of the shoe, which I think is a nice touch. You've also got these really cool orange accents on the heel that are also 3M. My favorite thing about the 700 Wave Runners is obviously the colorway, but you can't deny the fact that the 700s are also incredibly comfortable. Like the other 700s on the list, this shoe features a full length boost midsole or almost full length, it kind of stops right here around the toe, and then also a very nicely padded upper. Also, if you couldn't tell by this point, a lot of people are really liking Yeezys, that's why Every shoe on the list so far has been a pair of Yeezys. Number three, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra 2018. For a long time, the 350 V2 Zebra was the most popular 350 available, and that's because of the crazy upper and also the fact that when the shoe first came out, it was very, very limited. You can obviously see how this shoe got its name because of the black and white stripes that cover the prime knit upper, but a lot of people's favorite detail on the shoe is the SPLY 350 branding on the lateral side. The text, if you couldn't tell, is actually reversed and comes in sort of a crimson red, which really highlights the side of the sneaker nicely. Moving down on the shoe, you get to the signature 350 V2 ribbed midsole. It also comes in sort of a cream or off-white color. One of my favorite details on the shoe is something that you might not think is a great detail, but I personally like it a lot, and that's the pull tab on the heel. For a long time, 350 V2s didn't actually have pull tabs, so it's nice to see that they included it on the 350 V2 Zebras. Not that it's a totally necessary feature, I mean, I never use it, but it looks dope, so that's all that matters. If you're looking for a pair of 350 V2s that pop, the Zebra is a good way to go. Number two, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Cream White. At this point, let's be honest, it's all Yeezys on this list. And I guess that's not a bad thing because a lot of people obviously love Yeezys. Yeezys are a great hyped up sneaker that you can get for $500 at places like Stadium Goods. And if you'd like to grab any of the sneakers mentioned in today's video, again, those links are in the description below. The Cream 350 V2 is the only all white or all cream colored Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Like most other 350s, the entire upper of the shoe is covered in that really soft and stretchy prime knit material. And the midsole features a full length boost cushion underneath that signature ribbed rubber. Let's be honest, this is literally the cleanest 350 V2, and I think a lot of people like it because of that reason. White shoes are in, and this is a Yeezy that's all white, and people seem to love that. Not only that, but because there are so many cream 350s available, the price of this shoe is a lot lower than a lot of other pairs of Yeezys. So if you're trying to get your first pair of Yeezys, this is a great way to go. Number one, the Black Yeezy Boost 350 V2. It makes a lot of sense why this sneaker is number one on the list, mainly because it's a black 350 V2. All black sneakers are really easy to style and wear in pretty much any situation. And the fact that this is an all black Yeezy means a lot of people are about it. The crazy part about this shoe is that the 350 V2s have been out for a long time, and this is actually the first time that we're getting an all black colorway of this sneaker. Like the static 350 V2s, the shoe features a semi translucent stripe across the lateral side of the sneaker, and the black 350 V2s also feature a very prominent 3M pattern on the laces. My favorite thing about this sneaker is that it reminds me so much of the Pirate Black V1s, which is one of my favorite pairs of Yeezys of all time. And now finally, I can grab a shoe which I think is a better silhouette than the V1s in the colorway that I really like. And of course, like every other pair of 350 V2s, it features a full-length boost midsole. I love the fact that the heel tab of this sneaker features this bright red stitching, which I think really pops. In my opinion, the Triple Black 350 V2s are the most versatile Yeezys you can buy, because they don't get dirty very quickly, and they go with everything. 
But that pretty much wraps up the list for today. Thank you so much for watching. Now I would love to know your thoughts on these sneakers in the comment section down below. Once again, huge thank you to Stadium Goods for having me out for today's video. And again, if you'd like to check out any of the sneakers mentioned, they're all linked in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one. Perfect.